Hmm? All our operators are busy. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. But I don't know why you have any notes or anything. Moi, hello, привет, como esta? Namaste. In today's video, I will tell you what has been happening with that famous letter I sent to the President of Finland and the other one I sent to the Prime Minister of Finland. As I promised you to keep you updated, Dodos. Posti is involved, as you can see in the title of the video, and uh, I want to be very clear, I'm not blaming Posti. I'm just going to tell you the story as it happened and then you can draw your own conclusions. For the new subscribers, thank you and welcome. I hope we will have fun together. Not all of my videos have the same topic, so don't be surprised if you see that one video is completely different from the previous one. Okay, let's talk first about Posti. Posti is the Finnish postal service, a state-owned company. I have heard many stories about Posti in the past from Finnish co-workers and so on, and they have had some bad experiences. Things have got lost, uh, they never got any money back. So let's do a quick search online and check Trustpilot. Trustpilot is a website where you can see reviews of companies made by people. Okay, 326 reviews, 1.2 stars on average. Delivery company that can't even deliver packages. Posty sent parcel back. Very poor service. This company doesn't deserve to be operated in such a wonderful country. Horrible. And it goes on and on and on. Okay, but those are ulkomalized comments. Let's check the comments but made by Finnish people themselves. Let's see what they say. Uh, okay, all of these are bad comments too. And yeah, it goes on and on and on. Should we blame Posty employees? Well, not so fast. In the recent past, Posty has been all over the news as the management seems to have a very nice pay deal while planning to cut the salary of 8,000 Posty workers. While the salary of the CEO had increased by 65% in the last four years. Maybe Posty workers are heroes for still working there and we are lucky to get anything at all. So, if you have seen the previous videos, you are an old subscriber, then you know I sent a letter to the Prime Minister of Finland and President of Finland as an experiment. So if you know all that, then you can just skip to minute. And if you are new, okay, I will tell you a quick recap of what was all about. During the summer I was curious about how approachable Finnish leaders are, so I decided to write them a letter and see if they will reply. I placed AirTags aka GPS trackers in the envelopes. What are AirTags you ask? It's pretty much a GPS tracker. Then I sent them the letters. I could see with my Find My iPhone app that they were delivered to them. By the way, remember to subscribe. Making these videos take me a lot of time and resources. Subscribing is free for you. After that, you will get a notification when I post a new video on YouTube every one to three weeks. And that's it. Back to the story. After many weeks, I got a presidential reply, but not from the president. The air tag was sent back to me separately, but it was missing. According to find my iPhone, the air tag was in Posty Central Office. There was no movement for weeks. Then I was visiting my family in Spain when I saw there was some movement, and the tracker was again outside of the Posty main office and somewhere in Helsinki. Overnight. The tracker has stayed in the same address. So I was a little bit curious about this address and I went and looked at Google Street Views and I found this. My Finnish language skills are not perfect, but I know that Loda means find. So when I saw this name, I went to Google Translate and I thought, uh huh, so this is a private lost and found company. When I tried to go online and uh, ask a question, in that website to see if they had the item. Of course, I know they do have the item, but you have to go through the process. I saw that I had to pay seven euros. I don't know how the tracker ended up in this lost and found company. 
But there it is, it went from Posti to the lost and found company. I can't point any fingers. I don't know if it was the assistant. I don't know if it was Posti. But I did say this. Because sometimes the postal service can lose things. Can lose things. <laughs> and it seems that it happened. Let's guys call to this number and see what's going to happen. Welcome to lost and found international customer service. Service in English. Please press number two. <coughs> Moi, puhutko sinä englantia? Yes, how may I help you? Okay, uh, lost item, I think is is there because it's a GPS tracker and I can see where it is all the time and I see that the address uh, where it is is, yeah. is is that one, so it's probably there. Okay, and what kind of an item is it? It's an air tag. It's very small. It's like the size of a coin, and uh, it, it should have my initials. So D R F G. It came from Posti. Someone sent that to me uh, from Helsinki to Lahti, and then I saw uh, from my phone that it was in the Posti office for a few weeks, and now I saw that it's in that address. Okay, let me check. That. So delivered it by post. Yes, it was supposed to be delivered by by post, but I don't know what happened in Posti, how how from Posti it went to lost and found. Okay, let me check that. When did it go missing? What was the color? What were the initials that were on it? Yeah, we haven't got anything like that as of yet. Yeah, I'll leave your contact information with the office and we'll get in contact with you as soon as we get. Okay, one more thing. Is that company private or public? The found office is yeah. private, yeah. Thank you very much for your help. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, bye. bye. I have a item that is supposed to be here. Do you have number for an item? But I don't know, I don't have any number or anything. Oh, yeah. like it's something about this size, like the size of a coin. I don't know where Coin, you mean coin? Yeah, if I press this button, it's gonna break now. But it's coin. This, this side. <laughs> I don't know where it can be. But, but it's here, it's here. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere there. The lady working in the post, uh, sorry, in the lost and found service was very nice, very nice lady. And she was very um, patient, I have to say. Uh, it was difficult for me at the beginning to try to explain the whole thing and say like, hey, Posty lost something, I can track it with my phone and I see that it's here in this lost and found service and it's somewhere in your warehouse and I need to find it. And she couldn't understand how I knew it was there because I didn't receive any call from lost and found. And air tags are quite new, so... It was difficult for me to explain what it was, but then it worked out in the end. I think you should recognize it if you do. Yeah, but what? It is here, though. Yeah. And somebody is kind of tired of going to get used to them. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, in the end, everything worked out. I found the air tag and I just had to pay seven euros and that was the end of it. Thank you very much for coming with me to another of these meaningless adventures. And by the way, Sanna Marines, 
airtight is still in the PA ministry. It hasn't moved, it, which means it either got lost in there or I don't know. I have no clue what happened. But I'm thinking maybe I have to make a video where I go there and try to get it, try to get into the PA ministry and, and recover the airtight. That would be fun. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, hit the subscribe button. It's very easy, it's free. And as a thank you, here is a picture of a cute cat. So, see you in the next video.